Alright, so... Even though I did- well, no one pla no one noticed that I was gonna stream today, but I changed my mind and I'm gonna do a normal recording, and I'm actually gonna do these custom night challenges with people suggesting them, but right now, since this is the first one I'm doing and nobody has suggested any of them, suggest one in the comments for me to do and I'll do them. The first one that I'm gonna do is basically... I don't know what I'm gonna call this one, it's just gonna be a test run, which is just gonna have Bonnie on... Actually, I'm gonna keep Bonnie on 10. I'm gonna put Coley on 5. I'm gonna put Kitty on 20. I'm gonna put Freddy on 2. I'm gonna have Sally on 15. Actually, how about 13? Because what? Because we all need some bad luck in our lives, and the only way I can get Lockjaw to move is if he's on 20. Because he's because we're gonna have a lot of him in this episode. So yeah, we start right now. And while we load, actually like and subscribe the video because. It's gonna make it more recommended. And it has been a while since I've played this game, and one thing that I found that you can do is that you can boop that. Don't know if that's a picture of Fredbear or if that's a picture of Doug. I've never had a problem with Doug when I played The Return to Freddy's 2, although he covered up a few animatronics and that's led me to die multiple times. And, fun fact is, in case people are wondering where the Dragon Dave videos went, um, I actually completed it in a, during a Discord call with a few friends, and I got very pissed when I beat it because um, I wasn't recording it and I couldn't upload it to YouTube, and so I'm not gonna replay the night because this game is harder than any other, than any other game that I've played. This is gonna be a very chill video, so yeah, I'm not gonna scream, like... Probably not gonna scream. Hopefully I get nobody to appear this time. If someone does appear, right, I'm just gonna do what I normally do to survive them, which I think everybody knows what it is. Paying attention to the hallway in front of me to see if there's anything. As soon as I let go of the lever. Oh yeah, we have a kitty. Do we have a Bonnie? Yep, we have a Bonnie. No Sally yet. Then again, Sally was set to very low. And... See, this is the thing that I hate about this game, is that the enemies are unpredictable. And this is the part where I'm gonna hide in the- this is how- this is exactly how I beat Dragon Dave, by the way. By just hiding in the locker as soon as I saw an animatronic in the hallway. If I saw Freddy or Lockjaw in the hallway, I'd still hide in the locker because... So because there's dominance over which enemies appear. And I know this probably sounds like a developer commentary, but believe me, it's not. Oh yeah, we already have that. No surprises, come on. And because I haven't played this game in ages, holy shit, I'm gonna start screaming when there's a jump scare. And I probably might kick the table. That actually scared me a bit. Coley is a terrifying motherfucker. Now I just need to wait for Bonnie to pass on by. 
and I might try to fluke it by trying to win with no power left because if I run out of power that's gonna cancel out five enemies. It's not gonna cancel out Freddy though. But Freddy takes a long time to do the Toridor march so I should be okay. I don't know if Bonnie ran pi past already. I'm gonna still have that on. I have plenty of power. Actually, I'm gonna wind this up a little bit. But then I'm hiding back in the locker. Hiding back in. We don't need to charge it up that much. Where is Bonnie, damn it? Did he already run by- Well, no, I would've seen him pop his ugly mug over in the fucking thing. There's- My goodness. Bonnie can run by at any moment unless he moved back. I don't know why that scares me so bad. Hang on, actually I'm gonna check if he moved back. I think he moved back all the way. But I still can charge this up though. Well, it's 5 a.m. so I should be okay power-wise. Oh, now you start to attack. Stupid thing. I'm gonna still keep this on though because I saw Sally in the hallway earlier. I don't even care about the power anymore. I'm just I just wanna win. Don't even care about the power. Actually, I'm gonna charge it up a bit. Alright, that should be more than enough. I'm gonna occasionally charge up the generator. Alrighty, so that's Sally neutralized. I hate that this game so some animatronics have short movement patterns, and sure, I'm not gonna get away with not seeing Freddy this night. Well, I didn't have to deal with Freddy that time around, which is good! So yeah, that's that night done. Anyway, let's go into the, into the extras menu, so... Anyway... On, on this note is where I'm going to end the video, mostly because I don't feel like doing another custom night challenge and because the nights in this game are hor horrifically long and oftentimes I mess up here and there and yeah, I'm scrolling by a few of the animatronics so that you people see what they actually look like. And yeah, I play as a person shoved into a, a yellow cat with a top hat. models are cool though. Also yeah, this would have been happened if I got caught by any of them. Here's a few of the minigames I've played in a previous video and there's the credits. Farewell everybody.